He doesn't know their faces, but he sure recognizes their names. Or should we say their signatures? We already know already some of those tags. Alberto Subiuj works for Graffiti Protective Coatings, or GPC, the Southern California company hired this summer by the city of San Jose to cover up its graffiti problem. It's growing graffiti problem. Last July, uh, the, our city staff abated approximately 599 tags. Uh, this last year, uh, just a few months ago, uh, our company abated just over 1,700 different tags. Right now, GPC's effort is focused on the city's east side, promising to clean up graffiti there within 24 hours, even matching paint colors to avoid a patchwork look that the city believes attracts even more tags. Paint matching aside, the real reason the city has decided to outsource its graffiti cleanup is money. The city was spending about $2 million a year to do it, but now GPC charges them roughly a third of that. Still. Couldn't you save even more money if you prevented the graffiti from happening in the first place? Well, you know, it's a very effective tool. Well, that's what the makers of this device say it does. And city parks are using them. They're starting to put them in. It's called a flash cam made by QSTAR Technology. It is a security camera, sure, but with a few tweaks. Stop. Spraying graffiti is illegal. Your photograph has been taken, and we will use it to prosecute you. Leave the area now. While you have some surveillance cameras, they wonder whether they're working or not. This thing is actually active. It's almost like a person there screaming at them. So it definitely catches attention and scares them off. It is portable and solar powered, so it can be moved at a moment's notice to problem spots for graffiti, vandalism, or illegal dumping. Stop. The loud warning, triggered by a motion detector, is supposed to scare off taggers, but if that doesn't work, a flash fires and a high quality picture is taken. Pictures that have been used to prosecute vandals. Everyone knows it's there. Um. Larry Lapore says his flash cam has caught plenty of bad guys in the act. Lapore is superintendent of the Hayward Area Recreation and Park District. He showed us one flash cam put up in Castro Valley's Adobe Park. It's a park heavily used by the young and not quite as young. And while Lapore says he doesn't have a hard figures to back it up, he believes the camera has deterred some illegal activity. The city of San Jose says it has experimented with flash cam, but has no plans right now to roll it out in the ever-increasing battle with taggers. Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News.